Hello friends, welcome! I am Obesity Prime and today is going to be a really, really interesting game and I just want to come on and talk about it and then I'll let you watch it and see how it unfolds but today I am the Smite Shaco Support. That's right, as you can see in the D-slot, I went Smite and I just want to talk about what my thought process is going on here this is my second time attempting this the first time was kind of bad uh, but this time it actually went pretty well so I think a lot of things lined up as you can see we're getting a little a little uh, tag here for the Hellblade now I am support now the reason why I went with the jungle item is because of a few things number one if I'm in the jungle look at these guys cheesing me look at them terrible if I'm in the jungle I get a greater amount depending on the amount of mana I, I lose mana regen and as we know in the beginning Shigo has some mana problems so just being able to go run like near the Krugs or whatever and get a nice boost in regen is really nice number two it can eventually slow and deal true damage and lastly it upgrades to 900 so the first time I did this I went with the support item and it only stayed at 400 or 450 and it was weak as shit. It took forever to clear camps and whatnot. And I can't really contest objects the same way. So this time around, I was like, I'm going to go with just the jungle item. And as you can see here, I can just automatically smite it. And that's an incredible leash for me, right? A box and a smite has about 780 damage if the box goes to its full length. So here we go getting cheesed a second time. This time they bust out the exhaust and the ignite. I ain't scur. I am not scar. I was like, fuck it. Pop a potion. We Gucci. Now, let's look at... So now we see the items. Uh, I initially thought maybe if I smite away all of the little actives or whatever it's called. The little numbers on it. Then maybe I can pick up a support item. But Riot is smart, they know. So, uh, no, you can't do that. So you either have to go with the support or you go with the fucking uh, knife. So, as you'll see throughout this kind of have just one idea which is to eliminate to erase their jungle from this game so i'm level two there's a couple ways you, you can do this i wanted to go just like sit here at the blue and smite steel at the start but quinn and them wouldn't let me so now i'm gonna attempt it again in just a little bit it's now that i see blues up i place that box so when lilia shows up I'm going to contest her for it. And I, I'm going to shake it with Q. I mean, I'm pretty safe. And as we can see, she shows up. And now we do a little dance. I want to also talk about the ruins that I that I chose. Because they pair kind of nicely with what's going on. So I'm trying, trying to keep vision here. So it's kind of a hard part. I don't. She didn't see me place that ward, which was good. But she, she knows I'm here. Otherwise, she wouldn't have left. And as you can see, their bot lane is not rotating. So I'll just sit here all damn day. It's fine. And what makes this also pretty great is that my ADC is super safe, right? It's Tristana. You probably want to try this with a super safe ADC like Tristana or Ezreal. Because if things get a little a little dicey, she can just rock it out and probably he'll flash away too. Hopefully, if, if they're smart. So I'm going in thinking I got this. She smites Gromp, which is like fine by me. I, I'm not here for the Gromp. I'm here for the blue, baby. So, okay. <laughs> Bot is still there, not rotating over. Either is mid, which is pretty nice. So it's just me. Look, she's getting tore up. I, I try to make this kill here, but uh, it didn't work out. But hindsight, oof, that box right there, gold. You'll see in a second. So <laughs> we're just fighting over. This blue is fine by me. She, I'm affecting her wave clear. She spent, what, almost... 30 seconds to a minute trying to get this blue buff that I've been harassing her over. <clears throat> I have to then pull either mid or... Oh, look at that box. Oh. And then I take yo shit, son. Give me that. Oh, no. Super tilting. Don't worry, it's going to give me more tilting. But yeah, either have to pull mid or bot to come over. And since their bot lane is pretty shitty too, see this is this is what I meant by it. It works out because I have a super safe ADC, and plus it's a Quinn Yumi's. Uh, yeah, Quinn Yumi. So 
if Yumi rotates over, it's not that big a deal. It's still basically a one on one. Now, if it was like a Leona or a Nautilus that rotated over and left the ADC versus ADC, then it could be a problem. But since it's a, a Yumi, it's super easy. I could just, I, I was able to just sit there all damn day, which is awesome. Uh, I periodically come in here and get XP and just put a little box or two. Only at level six is when it gets a pretty dangerous for Tristana. But here we go again like that. They, they ain't got really nothing to deal with, with us, so. Super safe now that I know they blew exhaust ignite on me. I can go run around and still camps. And as you know, once you get these camps going, it's hard for them to, to uh kinda like you gotta keep the timer on them, sorta, in a sense. So I'm coming to check the wolves. You also want to watch your minimap to see if they show top. You come you come in here and you take these camps. So bam bam, I'm over here taking these as I do. So back to the ruins now that it's kind of a, a lull spot. As you can see, I went Inspiration Domination. Now, I went with Spellbook because, well, I mean, I can always swap out Smite for another useful summoner spell, like Flash, as you see I just did now. Flash, Exhaust, Heal, all these will come into play at some point in this game. So she shows top, so I'm taking her from. Boom, that's how it works. And then she's going to back and come bot and see that there's no wolves and there's no Gromp. Boom, baby. And so let's continue. Hourglass. Hourglass just in, I mean, I guess stopwatch just in case things got a little crazy. Hopefully that would buy me like a, you know, a moment to get out of harm's way, hopefully. Uh, and then, you know, I love Futures Market, so always take Futures Market, which helps with the gold because you're probably wondering right when I said I went with the with the knife is like there goes your gold income well mm, I got 13 hunch uh, um, doing pretty well right here despite being in the jungle for quite a, a decent amount of time and that's kind of where your gold is actually coming from stealing the enemy jungle camps <laughs> good play from our midliner Nico right and then I went with I think that's co cosmic insight I don't know for sure if that reduces the smite cooldown. I feel like it, it should. So that was good. And then domination, I went with indigenous hunter, which I don't, I'm not sure if that reduces its cooldown either. But I'm going Everfrost. So um, it, both of those work out for Everfrost, lowering the cooldown to I think like 18 seconds or something like that. As you can see over here, I'm just harassing, going to harass her all fucking game. Take her crab out of there. Boom. And then as you can see, I just upgraded to the uh, slow smite, whatever, and I got a heal, so there's no there's no threat there. There we come. She's looking for jungle camps because <laughs> she ain't got none in her bot lane. I just took the scuttle. Oh my, goes the heal dead. And then as for my adaptives, I believe I went. One adaptive for offense, defense, and then I think maybe double defense or something like that. I can't tell. There's the slow coming out from the smite. Boom. She's not able to get up there. Tristana picking up that kill. Yumi looking for some help but can't get it. Akali backflips into the box where I secure a kill. Ugh. At one point in the game, I asked my team, like, do you think she hates me? <laughs> Alrighty, friends, I'm going to let you watch the rest of the game. Uh, unless in future videos you would rather me talk over them. Provide a little commentary and a spicy dip for you. And I steal the dragon too. I'm, I'm basically a second jungler in this fucking game. Boom. And here, here's what I was talking about right here. It's like a Grom's up. Wolves are up. I'm taking both of them. Every time she comes, she pops up top. Because I don't think she knows her timers on when I took Well, she probably won't know because she don't know when I took them. So she's like, fuck, I, I guess I have to go top. Goes top, dies. But in a sense, the, you know, you kind of one for one, I suppose. In a sense. And then I take her wolves. Eventually, I try to go towards top side. Once I, th I believe we break this tower. But uh, yeah, that's the, that's the thing. As you can see, at the end of the game, we're, I basically have the same amount of... <laughs> See how easy it is with 900? Uh, we basically have the same amount of CS. Now I could try for the blue, 
but I just used smite on the wolves. I didn't know when the blue was coming up. I'm like, maybe I'll sit here and try to steal it from her here. I don't know. Anyways, friends, I'm gonna let you watch this. I'm about to some enjoy. Comment down below what you think of this play style. If it's <laughs> super troll or what, uh, I would recommend if you're going to do s uh, smite Shaco support, that you either duo with your ADC or your jungler, because this matchup was perfect to test this out. But you're probably not always gonna have them like this. And uh, I guess they're bot lane was kind of dumb didn't didn't want to really help or whatever so I'll catch you guys on the other one
Little bit close. 